How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. Now, today is a good day because we got a new update to check out. Uh, we got the Maritime update now that we can do. So we can make a dock that allows for foreign merchant ships to dock, as well as for transport ships that we can make to dock there as well to transport goods. So that actually kind of makes me really excited because you remember last time we built the Grand Wall around our whole city here. We're pretty damn reinforced, but one thing I'm running into is even with all our timber over here, we still have a timber issue. I mean, we might have a lot right now because we're not building, but that timber goes away really, really quickly. So I want to make like a timber village over here that focuses on getting as many resources off of our land as possible. Because, gotta be honest guys, we're running out of land space as you can see. Uh, we're lucky enough to have one big island on this map, but also it would have been kind of cool to have multiple smaller islands out and around. So, we're gonna give this another go today. We're going to make, hopefully, the best kingdom ever in Kingdoms and Castles. We'll work on upgrading the walls as well, but I really want to get some of these new updates out. There's supposed to be, like, whales and stuff now, too. I actually didn't read the update too much. I want to be surprised by things. So, we'll see what happens today. But let's focus on building a dockyard. So, I have to decide where I want that to go. What I was thinking, actually, is kind of breaking down this wall. Obviously, that's gonna make us a little bit more risky. But if I put a lot of weaponry here, we can be safe if the Vikings do invade this way. And to be honest, if they invade right here, this is like the best spot because we got weapons everywhere. And it's right by our giant tower. So with that in mind, I think I'm actually going to get rid of... Oh, that's going to take away this though. Can I make a... I know there's drawbridges. These bridges allow friendly ships to pass through. And I guess we could definitely do a drawbridge here. So I like that idea. So I think we're going to take out... I hate doing this because it's so much... Uh, materials, but I think we're gonna demolish this whole thing, guys. And don't worry, it's gonna be nice and safe, it's gonna look good at the end. We gotta get rid of, uh, this guy as well. I'm gonna get rid of everything over here, so we'll get rid of that. There we go, drop that down. Now that, oh, we got some flying guys here! I'm sure that will fix when we, uh, unpause time. Let's actually see what happens here. Oh, they just slowly float to the ground, so clearly our, uh, civilization is made of helium, guys, because they, they, they didn't fall, they just kind of floated down, you know? That, that, that was majestic. Alright, I truly hate doing this, though, but I just want to get rid of all of this. I want to have this nice and open, because I think it's gonna look pretty as well. And we gotta, at this point... It's all about looking pretty as well, because uh, we're doing pretty good in terms of dealing with those Vikings. We're gonna get rid of the pier as well. I want to bring the pier inside more, so... Oh, I hope we don't lose these resources. Doesn't really matter if we do. We got lots of resources, so no big deal. But I think this is gonna make this place look great. I'm also gonna get rid of this, just because I don't want it there. And I wonder how big this drawbridge is. So let's actually see... Just looking at, okay, so, wow, it's really not that big at all. I guess the boats are much smaller than I expected, but we, I, I'm assuming we gotta do two of those. So, now that I look at it, I guess we should have kept this, uh, bridge here. I should have figured this out beforehand, but I kind of just went right into it. Let's hit play here so we can actually start doing this. Alright, so that's being built. What we're gonna do is break this down. So, goodbye, bridge. Enjoy swimming, guys. These guys really don't care about swimming. That's why I love my uh, civilization so much. They are just committed to swimming around if they have to. Alright, but we're gonna put a drawbridge. Uh, I'm assuming the we want to do it the other way. So, it lifts. I'm assuming it lifts up to the left. So, we want to do that there. That here. Oh, that's gonna look so cool. And then over here, I think, we're gonna have a nice little dockyard. Now, which way... I'm assuming that might... It's either this way or this way. I don't know what that little pole is, but I it, it can't hurt to do it the wrong way. It's just gonna look weird. All right, so we got that going in, though. So this is really cool. And it also allows merchant ships to come to our yard. So... Uh, I don't know how to set that up, but I'm really excited for that. But now, we can actually go over here and build a little kingdom as well, and we can transport everything via water. So once again, we're gonna go to the Maritime, let's build another dock right here like so. We'll put it out just like the other one. Actually, do, should we do it? Yeah, just do it like that, that looks good. Let's let those guys do that, it's probably gonna take a little while for those guys to get out there, and as they're doing that, I'm gonna work on the castle, and let's see what other upgrades we got, because there's a lot going on now, guys. I still want to do a moat, but I think at this point I've gone too far. I don't even really got a castle anymore. It's just combined with my whole village now. So, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get to a moat. Uh, one thing we haven't done, though, if we go to town, well, I, I want to do these guys. So we'll probably do those today. I've been saying I've been doing, I'll do those for a while. Also, how many hospitals do we have? I don't think we have too many. Does it actually, it doesn't show. 
Uh, I definitely think we need another hospital, though, so let's throw that wherever we can. Uh, clear trees. Okay, so yeah, we can actually put it right here. So let's do that. We're gonna clear these trees. And yeah, I do like this upgrade. They have changed the tax rate. I can just do it right here, so that's perfect. We definitely want to keep that at two, uh, because we have so many military employees now. Job priority is a thing now as well, so that's really cool. Click and drag the job to change priority. If there are no idle workers, workers will quit low priority jobs to fill higher priority openings. That's actually really, really cool. So obviously we want builders, farmers, orchardists, Actually, we'll put the orchards at the top more than farmers. Uh, marketeers are high as well. I didn't expect that. Stockpile workers are important to me. Wow, we have 144 ballista operators. How many people do we have? 735. 20% of our population is military. Aqua engineer. What the hell is an aqua engineer? Is there engineers that work in the water? That's, that's, I, I gotta assume that's what it is. We only have five blacksmiths. That's something else we need more today. Uh, the rest of these guys, well, actually, timber workers. Let's bring that way up. I do like a good timber. So we'll bring that up by stockpile workers. We boosted that a little bit. Uh, dock workers, miners. These are things we don't really need. Tax collectors. There's so many different jobs in our kingdom. Event planners would bring that all the way down. We have like we've had like one event so far. All right, and everything else looks rather good. We have uh, the quarry pretty low, but honestly, we have so we have so many qu quarry workers. We don't need them to be working all the time at that. So I like the layout of that. Let's see how we're doing here. Now we got the drawbridge. Now we gotta make a boat. So if we bring this over here, oh yeah, you just drag it and you put it wherever around this. That's so cool. It's very, very simple. That's why I like this game so much. Everything about it is simple. Okay, so we are uh, running out of money here. Oh, man, my money issue is uh, probably my biggest issue now. Taverns are too crowded. Try building more. Okay, so we got to keep these guys happy because, uh, well, we're making them pay lots and lots of money right now. Do we have room in there for a tavern? Unfortunately not. And if I get rid of this well, it will fit there. But we got another tavern right there, so... Where? I guess we could put one. Uh, yeah, we, we actually have a little bit of housing over here, so let's build a tavern. Uh, hopefully that increases our population by a little bit, or our happiness, rather. Because at this point, I think I've pretty much hit the limit of my population. Just by how much room we have, there's really not that much more space left. I really got to be careful here. I think I will expand out and uh, make this into another townstead. Because honestly, I'm going to need all this room over here for our orchards. We definitely need some more orchards. We are slightly... Well, we're not really risking it too much, but it drops down to like 500. So we definitely do have to address that soon. I'm not going to worry too much about uh, hiring more people right now because we still have 122 idle people. So let's get building this thing. I guess we can build a transport ship over here as well. We're going to want quite a few of those. Let's actually build two. So we have three. Yeah, you know what? Let's do four. We'll do one over here as well. Oh, crap. There, That's where my money's going. I didn't expect transport ships to cost so much money. So... Uh, yeah, I think we'll wait for that other transport ship just to see how many we need anyways. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of people doing this or needing to be transferred over here. Where are these guys coming from, by the way? Do they actually swim over? They probably... I think they have to swim over because there's no actual door over here. So, <laughs> I, I want to see where they're coming from. I can't actually see them. All right, well, here comes obviously a lot of builders over here. So, it looks like... Are they going into the mines? No, they're actually getting into the water and swimming over. Oh, I, I, I feel like a douchebag king right now. Well, this is another issue. I, uh, I can't build roads here, and I'm pretty sure we need roads for foresters, right? Uh, yeah, that's too far away from roads, so what the hell am I gonna do here? Ooh, I can actually build right here. Oh, God, we have a plague going on. Uh... Okay, we do have a few doctors. I should have put an, an, another doctor down. But honestly, we can probably get rid of a few mouse right now and get some younger people in this population. So I think what I'm going to do is utilize this space right here. We have enough room. We're close enough to a road to actually build a road over there. And we're going to have to build a road all the way down to our dock. So I think that will be actually be pretty cool. So we're also going to get lots of trees doing this as well. So, let's chop those trees, and, uh, I guess now we just gotta wait for that, then we can build a road down here. Did these guys- oh, I, I have the game paused, that's why. I was like, why is nobody doing anything? That's why. So, 144 peasants died of the plague. Again, that's a good thing, we gotta remember that, we're gonna get lots more people now. Uh, so I- people keep saying, why don't I build more hospitals? I actually like it, 
Because it gets rid of the weak population and it keeps our population in check as well because we definitely have an overpopulation issue. Okay, so it's currently stored on board. View hold, add dock, currently on route. Uh, click add dock button to add your docks to the ship's orders. Okay, so looks like we have dock. Oh, this is weird. So they, they each have different names? Yes, this one's Dr Doc Kranzniki. Why is it Kranzniki? I, I don't know. I guess it automatically say uh, na names it something. Dragon's been sighted. Let's see how long that thing lasts. Do we not get this? Oh, we have to hit the... Uh, oh, <laughs> well, there he's gone. I, I hardly even had a chance to see him. But yes, that was our first dragon attack for the day. Looks like our, our civilization is doing a very good job at building over here. So props to them for doing that. I definitely don't think we're going to need more boats than this. We're, we're only going to get timber out here, and that's really it. So we build a stone road right through the forest. The only reason for this is so I can connect to the boat and to the logging camps. We just had the benefit of having road over here to connect to. I didn't know that. You have to have road by other roads to build roads. That doesn't really make sense. How are you going to make small villages that are met by chips and things. Like, I, I really don't understand why they would do that. Doesn't really matter, though. Just a small gripe. We're going to bring this all the way down to it. There we go. And that's going to be fantastic when that's done. All right. Tax rate is quite high. We got lots of monies now, at least. So I'm going to drop that back down to two. Hopefully, that will keep people happy here. And that reminds me, we want another tavern. We're going to throw that one right there like that. And also, let's keep these guys real happy. Let's add another hospital... Can we fit that in there? Yeah, we can. We're going to put a hospital in as well, uh, just to make sure all the residents are happy. Now, is there anything else? I want to do these things. How big are they? Oh, that is so freaking cool looking, too. Merchant has arrived. Oh, that's new. Okay, so we got a merchanting ship here. Now, what would you like, good sir? Okay, so it's literally just buying and selling. I don't really need anything. That's the unfortunate part. It would have been nice to have this early in the game when we were having resource issues. Now I'm producing everything that I need. I guess actually the one thing we definitely could need is blacksmith tools. And he's actually got 265 of them. So is how much does he want to buy? Okay, no, sorry. He has si no, they're six price. He has 265 of them. So let's buy. How much money do I got right now? I got 540. So I'm going to buy like 20 of these bad boys and complete the purchase. Now we can sell some stuff too, which is where this is going to be really, really useful. Especially like look at all our stone right now. He wants to buy stone for one each. You know what? I'll, I'll sell you 40 stone for that. What else do you need? Timber? Yeah, we got lots of that, dude. We'll sell you that as well. That's going to be 88. I really wish you wanted more, to be honest, though, but I understand you're just one ship. So, yeah, let's do that. So we made some money, too. That's really, really cool. I like this. All right, now that our road's done, let's start building some more loggers over here. Again, we really don't need logs right now, but we will when we start, you know, rapid expansion again. So we'll do a forester here. I want to do a couple of these guys, so let's do another one. Actually, we could probably do one, like, kind of over here, actually. Yeah, that'd be perfect, right by this wall. Uh, then I'm going to build a road inside here and do another one as well, I think. So let's do that right... Actually, let's not do it too close so we don't waste his trees. We'll do something over here. And while we're waiting for those trees to be chopped down, let's start working on our walls here. Now, I'm going to try and go all the way around the kingdom here and at least make them two but we have so many resources i'm just going to keep doing this we're going to have bigger and bigger walls as we slowly go throughout the ages uh probably they'll get so big that they'll go over the actual towers and then obviously we can get bigger and better towers anyways uh so this is always fun because there's something about castle walls that makes it feel much more like a kingdom if you got big castle walls obviously you're doing pretty well so we're just going all the way around right now. We might actually be able to make it all the way around with all the resources that we got. I mean, <laughs> I got 2,000 stone. I need to get rid of some of that because it's all being stockpiled and it's just wasting space. Whoa, did you see that lightning? That, I was like right in that cloud. That was so cool. What happened over here? We got random resources in the water. Are, are, are my, is my civilization getting sloppy here or something? Okay, I think we're actually getting all the way around this now, so we still... Yes, there's the double wall already. Holy crap, they already built all this? It took me that time to get around, and they're already halfway done the wall. That's how good my population is, so it's kind of got this weird ridge on the side here. We might even want to go a little bit taller, but I think that's it for right now. I want to actually bring these things up. How many? How much stone do we got? So we're down to a 1,000 now, so that used a lot of our stone. 
But we got a lot more, too. Okay, that was, must have been all of it. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're out of timber as per usual. Speaking of timber, let's go see how these guys are doing over here. So we got some, some timber fields. Whoa, what's going on? What, what do you, what do you got? Oh, you guys are building a wall. We have lots of workers building the walls, as you can see. That's what happens with the job priority, I think. They all actually do their job right away. All right, but we do have some things over here, so we need to actually set these things up. So what we're going to want to do is add dock. Uh, we want to go destination dock. Yep, and it's doing it already. Now you don't have anything on your thing. Wait, what? So I'm assuming now that it's automated, it should just come back and forth on its own. We're going to add dock, and there it goes again. So yeah, I think these things just, they're, they're kind of like buses. They're on a schedule. They stop. They pick up whatever they can get, and then they move on. So we're going to make this guy go over to that one, which I'm assuming is the other one. And I think that's how to do it. We'll obviously find out really, really quickly here. All right, and of course, we got to get up to the top with this one. So that should be it right there. No big deal. And we're going to work hard on this tower today. Why not? I love the idea of this tower. So look at that. All the way to the top. It's so easy when you're earning a ridiculous amount of resources. And we got our third plague of this episode. It really wants to kill me off, it looks like. Is that new hospital set up? Yes, it is. So we should be okay. Already seeing lots of happy faces, as you can see. So we'll see how well this does this time. If we need another hospital, uh, maybe we'll do that. So it looks like... Are these guys coming back? Whoa, what is... What? Was that a whale? Okay, I, I did see the whale. Okay, can we do whale fishing? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a whale, guys. We still got these guys. Oh, man. Maybe I should build a bridge over. But I feel like the whole point is I want this place to be hard to get to so we can use our ships for good reason. But my population's just like, screw it. I'm just going through the water here. And you know what? I don't blame them. It's really not that far of a swim. Alright, so now that we've done most of what I want to do today, let's uh, try out these statues. So we got the Guardian of the Forest and all of its creatures, and then in Fig, we trust. I have no idea what these things do, so I guess we can't hurt just to try it. I like the Guardian of the Forest. Maybe we'll put... Well, I kind of want this as a show place as well. You know what? It would be really cool over here in this little area. All right, I think I'm going to do it right here. I have asked for someone to chop that tree. My logic is it's the Guardian of the Forest, guys. So this is our access to the main forest inside our walls. So it only makes sense to have Lord Levy by his forest. So we'll speed up time and put that guy right there. I think that's a pretty good spot, but these things are huge. So I hope they're actually, you know, useful. Uh-oh. Merchant has arrived again! Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna do these trees real quick. Let's chop down that one too, just in case we need to. But I don't think we will. And of course, we just ran out of money. So that that is, uh, that's actually really bad. So I, I dropped the tax rate down to increase my happiness, which has not helped. Taverns are still too crowded. All right, we, we're definitely losing a lot with that. So let's get another tavern here. Town, tavern. I'm just having such a hard time finding spots for these damn things. I mean, it would fit here perfectly, but I got my charcoal makers there, and I don't really know where to put those. So we'll put a tavern right between the miners. That's not an annoying spot at all. And our money's dropping, so I'm going to tax hard right now because I want to get this statue down. I feel like, I well, I really want to see what these things do. So, man, we're actually losing money taxing at three. Oh, that's the problem I have of having way too much military. What, what's your issues, guys? Uh, happiness, 40 at home, being taxed, negative 36. Wow, negative 36. There's not even any issues. They're just mad about being taxed. I'm sorry. Look at our kingdom. What'd you expect? Get, get all this for free? Just trying to make everybody happy. No big deal. Uh, we're getting a lot of people dying by old age, though. So obviously we have an aging kingdom right now. So we got two boats there. I told three to go, so obviously one is working. We got another boat there, so they have transferred back and forth. All right, money's going up, though, so that's good. Let's get this thing down before we run out of money. Another plague? You guys are really trying to kill me. Clear the trees here first? Oh, another tree just freaking popped up. God damn it. All right, somebody want to get that tree? Any of you? There you go. Finally, it really doesn't want me to put this thing down, but there we go. Now, let's make it look at it. Uh, eight, peasant have eight peasants have died of the plague. Not too bad at all. So there we go. Oh, I want to see what this thing does. And let's drop down to a two tax to increase our happiness because we don't have a very happy population right now. Uh, how are we doing with our tower here? Almost at the top, so that's good. I still want to do something over here. There's the whale! I saw it! Oh, that is so cool. I can only assume there's going to be fishing soon, because having only farming is kind of weird, and I really want to get some fishing in this game. 
Holy crap! I just realized, uh... Damn. Uh, actually, is that is that merchant still here? Okay, the merchant has unfortunately left. What just happened to our food, guys? We have, like, no food. It's going up again, as you can see, but we dropped to negative food. So that means I really gotta work on this at that point. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, well, first of all, we're gonna get rid of these trees because that's gonna be room for an orchard. I think I'm gonna build... Let's build a road down this way. So we're gonna build a stone road like this, going all the way down, I guess, to the wall. Again, there's really not gonna be a lot of space here, but there's enough at least. And I think I might even get rid of this tower. Is this just a... Uh... Yeah, you know what? This is just an archer tower, and I gotta get rid of some of my military, guys. We have too much of it, so I, def I desperately need this space, so I think it's only smart to do that. Uh, then we can build the orchards down this way and down around here. All right, so we're sticking with the orchards. Uh, soil must be either naturally fertile or receiving irrigation. Is it not? It's receiving... What's the difference? Uh, I can see... I, I'm slightly colorblind, guys, so I thought this was actually all very similar greens. Clearly, there's this one spot here, but we got some uh, patchy spots this way. So that really sucks, because now I don't even know what I'm going to do to fix this. So what I'm going to do is put a reservoir right here, and then we are going to connect to that reservoir... Uh, by aqueducts, obviously, and can we do it over the road? Thank God. Connect to that. Now, that's going to make all this green over here. We still gotta wait for that. Another dragon sighted. Is he dead? Yeah, he's definitely dead. <laughs> okay, finally our new aqueduct is done, which is good, and, uh, let's start building this orchard now. So what we're gonna do is obviously go down... Uh, how many do we want to do? Quite a few, probably, so we can only do three on this side. I guess we didn't have to wait for the aqueduct, because, uh, this isn't even, unfortunately, but that's gonna give us quite a bit more. We can add some farm fields there, too, if we really need the space, but I think I'm pretty happy with that, so that's an extra six. We have, uh, well, we only, we, we really don't have too many orchards, so that's gonna be a lot of extra food. And hopefully that will fix our issue here. All right, guys, I think I finally figured out the boats. I I, I brain farted on this one. I'm gonna be totally honest. I did I didn't think about putting multiples on here for drop off and pick up. Obviously that makes sense. So we are destination draw uh, craw to drop off, which is this dock, and then we pick up from the other dock. It's so simple. Why 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 did I make it confusing? I don't know. But now that ship should hopefully be doing its thing. Yes, it's going to turn around the most awkward way possible, but it's definitely working now. So we got to do that for all of these. We want craw drop off and oh no, no. Okay, that's to add more resources, which is really cool. I like the amount of customization here. It's just a little confusing. And there it goes. Okay, so that feels good. I was a little <laughs> confused about the trade ships. Officially those are fixed though. So, now we should be earning lots of logs over here. We actually got quite a few logs, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, going well, going well. How's our tower doing? That's a good sign. I didn't build it high enough, though, so let's get it up one more. And I guess let's start building the other side up. We have lots of, uh, resources right now, so this is, this is always fun to watch. <laughs> just, just go up into the sky, you know, no big deal. Just building the, the Eiffel Tower. And do we have enough for this one as well? We actually might have enough to build all the way up to the top. Wow, that is when you know you have a lot of resources. Okay, so they're gonna be busy with that, but, uh, that's something we definitely want. I guess we should put the, uh, weaponry up top, uh, but again, we we have to- is that- is that even? I think it actually is even. Okay, perfect. So we're just gonna have a mixture up here. We're gonna have an archer's tower on that one, and then we'll do a ballista on the other one. Oh, oh, oh. That's perfect. So this is going to be- again, I keep complaining I have too much military, and now I'm adding more military, but my logic is- uh, we can actually slowly start getting rid of some of this other military. Merchant? Where's the merchant? Is he coming? Oh, he's over there! <laughs> Dude, this isn't my kingdom! This is just my timber field! Oh, finally! It's about time you guys came! Oh, don't, don't hit my merchant ship, please! Ah, uh, so it looks like they're gonna be invading... Well, this is gonna be interesting. We actually don't have too much defenses over here. Oh, let's slow it down a little bit. Uh, actually, I gotta figure out where all my, uh, troops are. I have no idea. We haven't used them in a while. Oh, are both here? I think we got either both or one here, so let's just bring this guy over. Again, I don't even know if they'll be able to get in, so I'm not overly worried, but we'll bring those guys over so we can see what happens here. Looks like they got ogres this time! Uh, multiple ogres. This actually might be a good fight here, guys, and... I, I, I've been craving for a good fight, so this is good. First ogre's down. We still got lots coming in, but, uh, oh god. 
These guys got to be crapping their pants here. We do got some stone being broken, that's for sure. Might be some resident buildings broken as well. We took that guy down. Wow, we are just taking them down so freaking quickly. All right, let's see if we can... Are they even going to penetrate my wall? That's the big question. How's my tower doing up here? You guys shooting them? Oh, yeah, they're aiming, as you can see, aiming right up. And uh, that's, that, that's what's doing the vast majority of this damage, prob probably. This guy's down as well. We are literally impenetrable, guys. <laughs> they're they're invading via water. That's got to be the worst idea I've ever seen. But hey, may, maybe it'll work for you. I, I don't I don't know, guys. You're probably at the worst spot of the wall as well. All four of these things can <laughs> hit you. Oh, man, you're not even gonna be able to raz anything down there. You can't set fire to water, man. Uh, <laughs> my merchant ships are like, excuse me, we're just busy. Come on, run them over. That that would be the greatest thing. That's commitment to your job, though. There's a war going on, and you're still driving right by to do your duties. <laughs> so, yes, I think there's still one big boss guy left, but there's it, it's not going well for him. All right, I, I, I gotta get back to my food issue, because clearly Vikings are not the issue anymore. It's, it, it's my own population. Okay, but what I'm doing is building a road down this way so we can utilize as much space as possible to uh, get some more fields down. I'm going to have to move the irrigation over here, unfortunately, as well. So it's going to take a while to set this up, but we still got to remove these rocks and everything as well. So, yeah, at this point, our food, we're just we're just kind of in limbo right now. Negative uh, 5% change last year, so it's not like we're starving, it's just, it's really close. And I just found another great problem, and that might be our major issue problem. I didn't even notice this, but as you can see, the water stops. Not enough water power to supply this building. Try connecting to another Noria. So now, holy crap, what am I going to do now? I'm going to have to break down my wall, I think, just to address this issue. So now what do I do? I guess I could build out this way. I don't even got enough money to build a damn Noria! I got- Ugh, man, this is- this is- this is a struggle right now, man. This is a real struggle. And I'm assuming that- again, that's why- that's our food issue, is we don't have enough water over here. All our water is going to these few fields, so it's just making it worse. Okay, this is turning into my nightmare! It's not- Noria wheel must be built on fresh water. I guess this isn't fresh. We had our- officially our first peasant die of starvation. Um, like, for example, I can do it over here just fine. Uh, this is- this is great over here. If I go over here, it doesn't like it. So this isn't considered fresh freaking water? What is it? Oh, hey, whale. What's up, dude? N nice to see you're not in fresh water. I mean, I guess technically it's salt water. So is that what it's talking about? Because this wouldn't be fresh water. It's still connected to the ocean right away. So, ah, oh, man, I am so confused. I need to actually pause time just to figure out what I want to do with this situation, because it would have been perfect to put it here, but it, do it doesn't want it there. It, do it doesn't like it there. All right, damage control is engaged. I am getting rid of houses right now. My logic is I'm hoping we can put one in here. I honestly don't know if it will work or not. If it doesn't work, this is just going to be extremely wasteful, but uh, I honestly need to get rid of some people, so at this point, I'm just doing everything I can to make these people happy. Uh, all right, so back to this. Come on. Yes! Ha ha! Okay, finally something worked out. So we can put the big wheel there. Um, we can obviously build a castle wall around it, but uh, we'll do that later. And now i got to figure out the best way to connect this stuff together. All right, so I think we can actually... Oh, why is it doing that again? It just... Uh, it's going to take me so much more longer. Uh, click middle mouse button or press R to rotate building. No, I, I want to just build multiple ones at the same time, but you're not going to let me, are you, you little jerk? Uh, but I think you can build, what I was saying is I think you can build down this road. So if we try like that, because I tried this before and it looks like it's possible. So you can actually build down the road. I don't know how that's going to look, but it works. So that's, that, that's my only thing. I need to build this down the road. And connect it to the other pipe, and then hopefully we should be okay. At least better. And we're out of money again. Again, this is very expensive, so of course people are not very happy with me right now. But, uh, I'm trying my best, guys. Really am trying my best. I need your money, though. I really do need your money, even if you're starving. Oh, man, I need your money. I really do need your money. This, this could end badly today, guys. I did not expect that. I got so confident in this game. And now, of course, we're running into a whole buttload of issues. All right, so that should be connected up once this is built. It's going to take a while to be built, though. We'll see 
how things go. Now, let's drop down. I don't need any money right now. So we're, so we're gonna drop down to two, try and make people somewhat happy here. But the, the, the system is crashing, guys. Quite literally, the system is crashing. What, what do my advisors have to say? Hello? Are you guys there? Oh, I think I turned that off. That's why. Viking Raiders may be coming. Yes. Uh, some quarries have no place. That's okay. That, that's all you have to say? Okay, the peasants are starving. Without food, they can soon die. Well, they already kind of are. My bad. All right, let's see how this works, though. So it literally... What? How are you guys walking? I mean, I'm not going to complain, because at least I didn't need to build something crazy. But it's literally just... They're walking through the columns. All right, whatever. If it works, it works, you know? Okay, so that's connected. Now you guys just gotta build the big the big wheelie thing. So come on. Oh, it's gonna take so long to do. One peasant died from starvation. Uh, well, you know what? We're still at kind of the, the meeting ground here. We're not totally negative. We're just kind of hanging on the fringes of starvation. And there we go. Now we officially have water. Let's see if that addresses our food issue, because hopefully we should be growing more food now. There goes all our food. People are eating the food. People are storing the food. Are we going to plus it? Yes! We're finally over zero, which feels good, as weird as that is. Happiness is going right up. Uh, looks like everybody has their homes now. We had a recent food shortage, so that's keeping people unhappy. Let's go back to taxing a little bit, though, because we don't want people unhappy because they're not being paid now. Obviously, that's a very bad thing. When it's red, I think I think they're on strike. So it looks like we got some of our military on strike as well. Oh, and a dragon sighted. Well, that's not a huge issue. Well, let's see how long this one lasts. He's kind of just thinking about what he's going to do. You, you better hurry up and do it or you are going to die. And there he goes. <laughs> Oh, I can't get over it. They should make the dragons a little bit harder. Let's be honest here. Now we have another damn plague as well. This game is just trying to kill me, I swear. This game is definitely trying to kill me at this point. Uh, so a plague has infected us. And again, maybe it's a good thing a few people die so we have less people to feed. But I gotta say, this is looking good now. As you can see, we are in the positive, ladies and gentlemen. Plus 229 total change last year and that's considering eaten food as well so we are on a positive for our food so that's been addressed we should slowly start you know getting a stockpile i think it's going pretty well how's our mountain doing here our tower mountain yeah i gotta i gotta call it the tower mountain because that's quite literally what it is uh they're still building that but honestly we're still doing good got a little bit scary there Sometimes you're just too big for your own good, but uh, we did survive it once again, and I think we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. So once again, this was Kingdoms and Castles. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the new update with the uh, merchanting ships as well as ports, and of course, whales as well. The whales are making me excited because I think fishing is on the horizon, ladies and gentlemen. So as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.